Greetings, and welcome to the premiere of Talk to Me America. You'll have to let me know if you can hear me. Everything was working a few minutes ago. <laughs> we are, uh, this is where the world wants to hear what you have to say. So hopefully you'll call me and tell them like it is. Brought to you by Here's What I Heard. I am Laura Degatis, your hostess. Thank you for clicking on my little acre of the internet today. You caught me just reading the First Amendment. Let me read it to you. Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. This is one of the main reasons why I decided to do this call-in talk show. I want to thank everybody for being here today. Can you hear me all? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? <laughs> all right. Make sure you share this with everybody. I want to uh, let you in on a couple of more reasons why I'm doing this show. Uh, if you've been following me for the last year, uh, you know that I was a normie, if you will. Uh, I had my own entertainment business. My husband and I played live music in many places from casinos to dive bars. Uh, we lived, worked, played, and survived while pretty much not even paying attention to, other than boating, of course, uh, to what was going on in the realm of politics and America's leadership among cultural events and entertainment fodder. Uh, I uh, essentially gave up on media of most times, but especially establishment in cable news and reporting after Katrina, 2005. I lived through it, but I saw so much crap on the news that just wasn't happening and wasn't true. That made me decide to cancel my uh, cable utility because I wasn't about to keep paying for sensationalist nonsense like I saw. Not to mention, we're paying for the commercials too, which wasn't that supposed to be the original sales pitch of cable? No more commercials? Hmm. It uh, wasn't until the lockdowns and then my heart problems, my health problems, that uh, kind of forced me to have nothing else to do but watch media and internet shows. Mm -hmm. We can't see what's coming out of your mouth. <laughs> Looks and sounds perfect. Okay, which is it? <laughs> oh, you guys must have seen my Dracula commercial from 2007, I think. Yes, I've been on the internet for many, many years. Anyway, when I started watching the media shows, I actually couldn't believe how much worse the propaganda and the virtue signaling had gotten from 2006. And, of course, after a few months of watching folks like Tim Pool, Russell Brand, and even Jimmy Dore pretty much red pill themselves, um, I couldn't remain quiet anymore either. Besides that, after Koof took my business away, and uh, my husband and I started having health problems because of Koof, I didn't think we were going to be able to work outside of the house anymore. So I figured... Everybody else is doing it, why not me? But I also couldn't believe the amount of censorship that I was seeing as well. That was another reason. Uh, that was That's incredible. I've never heard of some of the things, oh, you can't say that, you can't say this. Since when? <laughs> so that's when I actually had the idea to have a call-in talk show because I'm just one voice. It takes a lot of people to create change and stand up for our rights. And being a musician and an artist, uh, freedom of speech and expression and association is extremely important to me. It always has been. They uh, started the Bill of Rights with it for a reason. Uh, personally, it's the best way to tackle the hard problems of life and leadership. And in a way, in my case anyway, a way for me to weed out the bastards <laughs> and the folks one would rather not associate with. 
I've always been a firm believer that uh, if you allow folks to talk long enough, they'll tell you exactly who they are. <laughs> so what do I want to talk about? I'll talk about just about anything and everything for a couple of reasons. Uh, as someone who's been paying attention to the media only within the last couple of years, not by choice, um, I've noticed that uh, the powers that be, i.e. our politicians, our media, the school systems, they've made everything political. And anything that they haven't made political, bleh, excuse me, anything they haven't made political is still political. You have to see if I'm working on here. I'm actually streaming on two separate computers just in case YouTube doesn't like what I have to say or what you have to say. <laughs> uh, which SID and Skype are we using? I don't know. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yes, I'm kind of a boomer, but not really. I've actually been dealing with computers since I was 18, year old, 18 years old back in 1983. So, oh, is that right? Well, you don't have to call me on Skype. I'm going to be putting up a... a I've got the, uh, the uh, um, URL pinned for... Uh, What's the name of that thing again? <laughs> Discord, Discord. That's the biggest problem. I have trouble remembering everything. I'm just like OBS, uh, Discord, all of the other stuff that I'm going to be showing you today. And then the Apple stuff too. I'm doing Apple and Mac at the same time. So, <laughs> so and of course, you know, if they don't succeed in making anything uh, political, they still succeed in making making it political by claiming it's some kind of an ism or a phobia. So, uh, I guess what I want to portray is that free speech and expression works or is supposed to work in all ways. Uh, individual, individuals have the right to say whatever they want, whenever they want, without fear of punishments. In turn, individuals have the same right to rebut, respond, or ignore. You know, uh, you don't have to listen to things. Nobody's forcing you. Nobody's twisting your arm to listen to these things. But no one has the right to silence under other individuals nor dictate what one may or may not say. You cannot control somebody else's thoughts or language. And, of course, um, you'll find this out. I like to kiss everything. And that doesn't mean... That means keep it simple, stupid. Too much to remember in life without doing that. <laughs> so, uh, and so I believe the freedom of speech is actually the simplest way to know how to implement the other parts of the First Amendment and the rest of the uh, Constitution, if you will. Freedom of associations and assembly, as well as other parts of the Constitution. Uh, which, by the way, if uh, anybody out there listening and say it loud enough for the people in the back of the room... <laughs> that is the Constitution is there to limit the government, not the citizens. Please quit, please quit forgetting that. Did that sound right? Okay. <laughs> but don't get me distracted. All right. So, I mean, how will you know who you want to hang out with and talk to if you don't allow others to speak freely? Believe me, I stay away from people that I've heard who speak ill of others or are all doom and gloom all the time. Things, uh, and other things that we won't mention. It's like, <laughs> usually I won't say a whole lot. I'll just excuse myself and never come back. So when you call, after I get f through showing you a few idiot things and one or two of my heroes for the week, uh, all I ask is that you keep it civil to, your, to yourself, to others. Try not to get me kicked off of YouTube for you for the time being. I'm just starting out. I don't need that trouble right now. <laughs> and while I'm on the subject, please make sure that you're sharing, subscribing. Please find me on the alternative channels. All the all the links are below. Because um, uh, as you know, I have to kind of go slow on all of this. 
uh, health and finances. And of course, I'm also finding out that some of the other platforms have prerequisites in order for me to even be able to start streaming live. Shoot, did you say screw tube? Yeah. <laughs> Coffee. Oh, that sounds really good. I think my, uh, I think my assistant, actually, he's not really my assistant, might be uh, brewing me a cup of decaf as we speak. I like my coffee too much to give it up, and uh, the uh, de the actual caffeinated stuff messes with my heart med. So, but I'll take what I can get when I can get it. That's the way this life is, for the mo per for the most part. All right, let's see how are we doing here. Everything's still running. My stream on my stream my stream on ScrewTube is a little slow. I'm sorry. I have limited scientific well dust guest <laughs> the swag method that's a good method in some cases especially if you've got experience all right well i was gonna say i see my friend wage here how are you my friend thank you so much for helping me out and get this thing going am i sounding okay and, and looking okay everything looks good what do you think of, what do you think of my scene i got a couple more to show you Oh, and I also have a sponsor, but I'll show you, I'll show you his commercial later. <laughs> You'll love it. I hope you get the joke. There is a joke in there. Big time. All right. Let's see. <laughs> uh my American citizen. You, I was going to say, you might as well just say everything is racist, darling. Because, I mean, haven't they... Yeah, really, huh? <laughs> haven't they, like... I'm, I'm actually been tempted. It would probably take me a year to do it now, but I'm actually been tempted to get every headline and put it in a big uh, slideshow. Everything that's been deemed racist. I mean, they've even claimed that the sun is racist. <laughs> Uh, calling things racist is right. There you go. There you go. And I, yes, you're damn right. I'm a bigot. Well, no, actually, I'm not a bigot. I'm intolerant. I made a video about that. Anyway, let's see. Good old Alec Baldwin is still in the news. Now, imagine, imagine had this been anybody else. And I still want to know, this guy actually killed somebody. All right. This guy literally actually killed somebody and nobody's screaming white privilege in this dude. Um, hello. Anyway, he breaks down. Oh my God. I'm the victim here. I did not pull the trigger. The gun just went off. Who's buying this? Who is buying this? <laughs> I'm not buying this. I know his history. I've been alive long enough to know that this guy is a pompous jerk. Anybody who would, treat, who would leave their 12-year-old a message like he left her, calling her names, I mean, I'm sorry, does this guy think, well, I know what this guy thinks. I mean, I've seen pictures. Didn't he beat somebody up for taking a picture of him too? I'm sorry. <laughs> Who died and left you to be God? But I knew this was going to happen. I actually made a video about what happened here. Because ultimately, for three reasons, this man is responsible for what happened. Number one, he was he was holding the gun. And I guarantee you, with his, his hubris, if you will, or his arrogance, he was flinging it around thinking, oh, I don't have to do anything. I'm just, you know, it's not going to happen to me. Secondly, he didn't, you know, like I say, he didn't check the gun. He had a bunch of people working for him that were, well, like I say, secondly, he was, uh, th these people, all these people worked for him. So he was actually, even by OSHA standards, responsible for their safety and well-being. <laughs> and of course, thirdly, like I say, he was the one that pulled the trigger. There's guns just don't go off. In fact... <laughs> Uh, they sit around a lot of houses all day long and never even move. 
It's very, very rare that a gun will actually just go off, but nah, this, this gun went off. And it was because it could have been avoided if he'd have checked it, if he'd have done safety rules. That's all. But who's buying this? But this is actually, this is actually a part of his plot. And this is something that I actually uh, predicted, I guess you can say. And my video about this is, is I guarantee you that he's going to try his damnedest to use this to continue or to ramp up his hatred of the NRA, shall we say. Basically, he's saying that it's the gun's fault. So now everybody's going to say, see? See how dangerous the gun is? See why we have to take them from you? Not this guy was an arrogant asshole and thought he was going to be able to get away with murder, which actually it looks like he is. And again, Mr. White Privilege. But can you believe this? Well, I can. Like I say, I predicted he was going to be the victim of this and that he was going to promise and swear and do his very best to make sure that guns were taken out of our hands because it was the gun's fault. Ugh. <laughs> Can't imagine anybody still buying this unless you have absolutely no idea how to use a gun or even how to, even what a gun's all about. I didn't pull the trigger. Alec Baldwin gives first interview. Why is he getting any kind of interviews? Why? Why do we need to hear any more from this guy? Is this supposed to sway the jury? Is he ever, actually even going to be charged with anything? Now, I heard told that he actually was having some kind of an affair with the young lady. Uh, and that at that particular point in time, they were fighting. But... <laughs> And that's what happened. Of course, if he didn't pull the trigger, why was one per why is one person dead now and another one was injured? And of course, that explains the reason why he ran straight to her husband. I can hear the conversation now. Oh my God, man! I am so sorry, man. She was just the oh my. Blah, blah, blah. I bet he didn't tell her tell him anything about slip slide in away. <laughs> Oh, no. So, yeah, I don't cover him that much. He's never been, I've never liked him that much to begin with. He's always been an arrogant dick to me. So, let's see. What are we going to next? All right, something, a couple of things pretty stupid. I get so tired of these people trying to talk, speak for me. This person... I'm sure you recognize this person. The infamous Sheila Jackson Lee from one of the Houston districts. She's a, what is she, a senator, congressman, congressperson, representative. Sheila Jackson Lee said on Wednesday on MSNBC, Andrea Mitchell reports that the Texas abortion law made Texas women the victim of bounty hunters like the 1800s. So... What, can I expect somebody to rope me up and drag me to the abortion office if I'm pregnant? Is that what she's saying? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Again, this woman doesn't speak for me. I don't think she speaks for anybody. If she's back in the 1800s, I think she might have had one of those lapses. I remember when we ended up having to put uh, one of my grandmothers in the... In the uh, nursing home she started talking about going picking up her sister who had been dead for 40 years at that point and then she was talking about going to prom um yeah she was she was gone <laughs> so and like in the 1800s um i don't know my my dad was a history teacher and i've learned a, 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 a lot about history and i read about history were women Hunted by bounty back in the 1800s? I don't think so. So yeah, this is somebody that was that continues to be voted into office in a Texas district. It, uh, yeah, how dare me. <laughs> I'm sorry, this woman doesn't speak for me. And actually from looking at it, it looks like she only speaks for ranchers of the 1800s i don't even know what to say to this and it's obviously it's obvious that 
not a lot of people are paying t paying that much attention to her either. Uh, this just happened to come. This just happened to come uh, uh, across my one of my feeds, and I thought, "You've got to be kidding me!" I can't even imagine her the people in her district believing that. So, when a woman, so what she's literally saying is that when women got pregnant in the 1800s, they were bounty hunted. <laughs> uh, either people aren't listening to this person, which actually is probably the truth, or they think she's right. That's pretty sad. American citizen. Uh, uh, do you have a bone or something here with this? Everything's... <laughs> actually, she is. <laughs> I won't go into that, though. I try real hard to skip that kind of conversation because everything is racist, so nothing is. Let's see. What have I got next? <laughs> All right, here's an idiotic trend that's coming up. Uh, it's a TikTok thing. I'm not on TikTok. I'm not on actually um, Twitter or any of those others either. Essentially, you don't have to be to know what's going on on there because everybody's talking about them. But this is something that came along. If As if 20 digits weren't enough for the fake fingernails, they are now sticking them on their teeth and claiming... <laughs> claiming that it's more feminine. Now, this may sound misogynistic, but I would think bigger boobs would do that. Or bigger arse. But buck teeth? You just look like a... I'm sorry. I, I don't even know what to tell you. This is... <laughs> I can remember back in school when people were made fun of for looking like this normally what the hell <coughs> do i have she has a good year who has a good year tire on their head oh <laughs> the girl that's talking about can you see these let me see i don't think i've got the sound on I'm, i don't use i'm not going to play the sound for everybody i'm not sure if i have any of that down yet. There was a one on here. These are nuts though. Yes, please don't let this become a trend, a real trend. Like I say, you got 20 digits. In fact, I thought it was disgusting when they were doing long toenails. I, in fact, I wonder how that sounds. I've never heard anybody walk with those, but I can imagine probably sounds like a couple of dogs walking across the linoleum. 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 <laughs> uh, yeah, stupid, stupid, stupid. And actually, <laughs> I thought that was stupid, but was even stupider is I found an actual article. Somebody wrote an article about it. I've never heard of Height Zone before, but I do my research, and this is the kind of stuff that comes up once I find something. What is squirrel teeth trend on TikTok? Did you even go to school? Is this the new fashion now for a more feminine look? I got to tell you, if I was a dude, that wouldn't come anywhere near me. I still question how in the world most of them wipe their behinds with those nails. Squirrel teeth trend is a newest trend on TikTok with a more feminine look that is expected to take over the internet in the upcoming year of 2022. Know what it is in detail? No, and I really don't want to know either. But the, t the trends on TikTok are never ending and keep on changing from one to the other. Thank God for that. Maybe this one will pass before it gets too popular. Again, don't get near me with that. <laughs> uh, let's see how about a hero 
In fact, I don't know why, but I think after I listened to that Kid Rock tune, this this article came across my feed. But this man is a hero, in my opinion. <laughs> Man denied building permit for garage erected a giant middle finger statue instead. Recognize that? Doesn't that look like the one in the Kid Rock video? The recent Kid Rock video? <laughs> I keep losing. There we go. <laughs> He said, uh, let's see, they wouldn't let Ted Pelkey build a garage, so he decided to build something else instead. This is from 2018, but I don't think a lot of people covered it. I think it was covered on their local news because they can you can see it from the main highway. It's lit 24-7, and there's nothing the city council can do about it because it's considered art. <laughs> this guy is savage, and he's a hero. Oh, and by the way, if you haven't realized this already, I'm part of the Salty Army. Hi, Salty Cracker and all of those guys out there if you're there. Love you, love you, love you. Stay savage and pure-blooded. After a more than 10-year fight, 10 years, these officials, and he, he went through all the bells and whistles. Evidently, somebody decided they didn't like him and they were going to put all of his mess on the bottom of the pile. So he decided to take revenge by erecting an enormous statue of a middle finger for all to see. That's according to Boston.com. The 700-pound 700, 700 wooden statue sits atop a 16-foot pole as it's bathed in the glow of two floodlights allowing passerbys on Route 128 to see it at all times. This gigantic embodiment of frustration and revenge cost Pelkey $4,000 commission. But after the struggle he says he endured, he feels it was worth it. Yes, it is. Because, again, they can do nothing about it. In fact, down here, I think they complain about it. <laughs> uh, let's see. The DRB member chair, Matt Wamsgangs. W-A-M-S-G-A-N-Z. Wamsgangs reportedly has a troubled past with Pelkey. Though all involved have declined to comment on the specifics of their past. Nevertheless, Whamsgams. That's almost like that Bambalam, huh? Whamsgams. Whamsgams. <laughs> Decided to not to recuse himself. Oh, okay. That's why. Somebody had it out for him and they, they used their bureaucratic power. They used their bureaucratic power to hold somebody back. And here's the here's the kicker. This guy was actually trying to start or trying to move his recycling business to his home. Which actually his home is on commercial land. So, yeah, what can I tell you? They look like glue on fingernails. They are glue on fingernails. Those the, the, the they were sticking them on their teeth. I just mm. No! <laughs> and yes, there is a 30 second delay. So in a few minutes, I got two more things to show you. And in a few minutes, I'm going to start taking some phone calls. If you want to call me up and let me know what you think about this stuff. Or if you think I've missed anything on these subjects. Or if you got a joke to tell me. Or whatever. That's like I say, freedom of speech. Just don't, try not to get me kicked off of YouTube, will ya? I'm probably got enough of that myself. I've been doing this for a year and I've only got 300, uh, 300 subs so far. All right, let's see. Another hero. Um, I think, I'm not sure Salty covered this one, but uh, I don't follow him. I'm, sometimes I'm as busy as he is, so I don't get to see all of his shows. But this actually sounded like sounds like something he would have covered. And I, and I wanted to cover it myself because this guy, again, is another hero, another savage beast, according to the left, I think. <laughs> uh, Los Angeles firefighter under investigation, under investigation, seriously, for wiping his butt with his vaccine mandate letter. Why would you investigate somebody for that? I mean, and how would that go? Are they, <laughs> are they taking forensic stuff? You know, forensic uh, uh, fecal matter off of this letter. 
Or are they examining him? <laughs> but, <coughs> excuse me. <laughs> He's still a hero because... <laughs> Just imagine. But I was going to say, they're investigating that? I was going to say, are, are, were there any witnesses? <laughs> hey, uh, did your buddy over there do that? Did you see how many times? Did you see which way he was going? Did he miss the taint? Oh, yeah, man. I had my nose right up in there. <sighs> Los Angeles firefighters under investigation for allegedly pulling down his pants and wiping his buttocks with a vaccine mandate letter. According to the Los Angeles Times, such, as as, as Ben Shapiro would put it, such journalisming. <laughs> uh, the LAFD member responded to receiving the noncompliance letter by dropping his pants and wiping his buttocks with the letter, leaving fecal matter on the document before dropping it to the ground, according to the Stentorians of Los Angeles City. A group representing Afri African American firefighters. Okay. So, I guess, uh, citizen, this is this is appropriate. This would be appropriate. <laughs> That's racist! <laughs> This is hilarious. <laughs> he is. He's. He's. He's a. He's a beast, though. <laughs> but how did again? How did they investigate it? How in the world did they know? That's what I'm saying. They're sitting there looking at this guy's dookie. Seriously. <laughs> ah, this firefighter is a hero, though. In fact, if he can, <laughs> if he can get people to touch his poo, he's a winner. Ah. Oh. All right, I think I got one more for you here. We'll start. Let, we'll start letting you guys talk. Uh, something that kind of is par for the course. One of those go woke, get broke, or at least get um, slammed. But uh, Salvation Army. We all recognize those little red buckets that you dump change and dollars in while they're going. Bing, 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 bing. Merry Christmas. Some of them sing. Uh, some of the San actually, I always got along with Salvation Army, uh, Santas, but the Salvation Army and they were trying to claim that this was a hoax. Now I had the, the, uh, pamphlet that they were giving out that, that, uh, that it was a PDF online and it's gone now. But along with coins this Christmas, the Salvation Army wants white donors to offer a sincere apology for their racism. And then what? Uh, that's what I don't understand. And then what? All right. What if you're not racist? Who are you calling racist? Shame on you. The Salvation Army wants its white donors to give it more than just money this Christmas season. Its leadership is also demanding they apologize for being racist. All right, so who determined that in the first place? And why do we have to justify ourselves to the Salvation Army? They're supposed to be helping people, not lecturing people. But let's see if this is still there. Uh -huh. uh. This is their study guide on racism. They actually have a justice department in the Salvation Army. Again, I thought these people were supposed to be helping people. And you notice this stuff is only geared towards one race. Or should I say one ethnicity? There's only one race. International Positional Statement on Racism. They even start the sentence out with racism. They're really shoving that down your throat. You're racist. You're racist. You're racist. You're racist. Racism is the belief that races have distinctive cultural characteristics determined by hereditary factors and that this endows some races with an intrinsic superiority over others. No. <laughs> Actually, uh, 
noticing that somebody has a distinctive cultural characteristic is different is not racist. It's truth. Everybody has different things. Even white people have different cultural statistics. No matter, depending on where they come from. It doesn't matter what color you are. Uh, the Salvation Army firmly believes that racism is contrary to God's intention for humankind, and yet we recognize that the tendency for racism is present in all people and all societies. Yeah, but that doesn't mean they're being there. They're being that. They're being that. And it also doesn't mean that you get to judge them that way, just because you've defined it that way. I think if I was handed this at any business, I'd walk. I'd walk. All right. Enough of that. I want to hear from you guys. Let's see. I have... Oh, somebody's already tried to call me. Let's see. Let me turn on... I got to turn on something here. What do I got to turn on? I got to turn on a couple of things. Hang on. <laughs> Don't forget this is my first time. All right, I'm turning on... If this crashes, this means that it didn't work. What is that? Who is that? All right. Okay, don't forget. Can you hear me, 206? Yeah, I can hear you. This okay. Is, uh, Red Dawn Radio. Hey, Red yeah, Dawn Radio. Honored to have you. Honored to have you. Wait, am I the first caller you've got on your show? You are the very first caller. Hell yeah. That's fucking <laughs> Ree! So, um, you <clears throat> Ree. Uh, <laughs> what I wanted to know is this guy that wipes his ass with the paper. Uh-huh. Um, it, first of all, that is not a suitable uh, cleaning device, right? Paper is not going to get the shit off. It's like a... <laughs> It's like uh, it's like the John Wayne toilet paper. It's rough and it's tough and it's don't take shit from no one. <laughs> the other thing is um, like so he crumples it up and he leaves it on the floor. Like uh, when I'm reading this thing, I'm like, does this dude just wipe his ass in the middle of like the team room? Like are all these guys sitting there watching him and just pulls his pants down and wipes his ass right there in front of everybody? Yeah, that's what my uh, question was too. Know. They're investigating it. I can imagine. I can imagine how they're asking the witnesses, "Did you witness this? Did you get a good look at what color it was and shit?" I'm like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> yeah, right. And, and and then the other question is, is there like a rule in the um, the California Fire Code that you're not allowed to wipe your ass with a um, paper or something. I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> well, I'm in yeah. Texas, and yeah. I would venture to say nobody would care here. <laughs> well, I think in California, that's just like par for the course, right? I'm sure someone shit right outside their fire department right now. Yeah, actually, right? that doesn't make any sense. They can shit right outside in the open anywhere they want to and wipe with anything they want to, but they're going to investigate him for wiping with a, 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 a letter. Wow, yeah, he must be law-abiding. Yeah, it's a, it's a, um, I wonder how many other events like this are taking place around the country, too. It seems like, uh, like this, they're just making an example of this guy. But there's a lot of crusty old, I mean, you're, you say you were a, you're a veteran? Is that, did I hear that right? Um, I, I was, I'm actually, I was just like seven days short of my 180 days because they found a, uh, they claim they found a heart murmur and kicked me out. Uh, but um, I think it was because I was a female in a very extremely male-dominated area at the time. And I wouldn't date... I wouldn't break the rules. Okay. Well, what I was going to say... So I was, tried, uh, but I'm also an advocate. Big time. Yeah, no, it's cool. <laughs> I was just, just going to say, like, if, you, if you've been in for a minute, you know there's... there's a bunch of other rugged guys like this that don't give a fuck. Oh, I mean, yeah. Like, there's got to be more <laughs> shenanigans like this, so why did this guy get get hit when you know there's people, there has to be some lefty 
chief in his department or something. That's the only thing I can think of because this type of shit is happening all over the country right now, right? Good. I hope so. <laughs> I do. I yeah. hope so. All right. Well, this is my very first time calling into a show. Uh, well, okay. thank you. Thank you so much and for making it mine. I'm honored because I hear him talk. I hear Salty talk about you all the time. And I think I watch you occasionally. I try to watch as many as I can, but I've been so busy getting all of this stuff together and trying to do the same thing. It's hard. <laughs> yeah, there's so many of us now. It's like it's impossible to watch everybody. But I but, try. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, man, I just want to say... Uh, this is, uh, this is awesome, like calling in, and uh, I'll probably call in more um, as, as you uh, continue your journey. Oh, great. Thank you, and please share with everybody. We want the more the merrier. Yeah, all right. Have a good one. Good night. Thanks. Good night. All right. Shout out to Red Dawn Radio. Yeah. Thanks so much. Very honored to have you call in. All right. Who's next? <laughs> All right. Everybody could hear that all right? Let's see. Where do you think she got it? I can still offer. Oh, okay. Could you can can you guys get on? Let's see. All right. I see Wage. Are you there? Oh, I can't hear you. I'm here. There you are. Everybody say hello to Wage War. Let's see if I can put this. Hey. Let's see if I can put this to where I had it before. Oh, I know. Ta-da. That way you fit in my screen. I'm having issues. Oh, sorry about that. Let's see, I can turn my video off. It's because I'm not wearing headphones and it's creating an echo between the website and Discord. Oh, well, turn me down. <laughs> there's a 30-second 30, just... there's a 30 second delay. Yeah, I just uh, muted the website. I, I don't need to be on Odyssey or hear Odyssey to talk to you. How you doing this evening, sweetie? The the stream seems to be going rather well. Oh, good! I'm so glad. I was so ner I was actually I was I was nervous about doing this, but I was more nervous that everything was going to work. And of course, the more we pat it on the head, the more likely it's probably going to explode on me. So don't give it too much kudos. <laughs> don't jinx it! Don't jinx it! No so, jinx, but uh, no, e everything seems to be working rather well. Uh, Odyssey still has that normal lag. Uh, okay. People need to understand, you know, what's going on with the servers that uh, we actually share server space with Rumble. Okay. And there gets a load on it, and it just can't handle all the traffic. Oh, Okay. Check it out. I got somebody else calling me. Can I put you on hold? That would that would probably be Red Dawn Radio. No, it's a different number. Actually, two different numbers. Hang on. <laughs> 630, you're on the air. Can you hear me? Hello? Skype is such a pain in the neck. Okay. Either so they didn't up? either they didn't get through or it hung up before I got it. Two people called. Uh, you gotta watch you gotta watch that Skype. Oh, by the way, we were talking about that earlier. Uh the Skype, yeah, it, if you download it and install it on your PC. You can make phone calls, and you can do this completely for free. Huh, okay. Well, it is on. It is an app on my PC. All right. Hey, man. It, 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 anybody out there trying to call, 
keep keep trying keep trying because i've got i'm talking to one guy and mm, excuse me i'm getting them all but uh sky pangs up on you after about like 13 14 seconds or something like that so yeah keep trying if you don't get through if you don't get through just keep trying and remember to turn down your uh live feed because there's a, a delay it'll sound funny <laughs> Unless if they have headset. Mm, yeah, that too. If they have a headset, yeah. A lot of people don't on their phones and sometimes on their Skype, so it depends. So yeah, let me know what you guys are thinking. Call in and tell them like it is. <laughs> what do you think of my setup? Um, I'm actually... Good so far. I want to. I want to see... Yeah, I can hear the delay. You you got the um you got the live feed on. Well, I'll tell you since there's a lull, I, since there's a lull here and people aren't calling, um, you want to. I just it? realized why. What's that? Realize why what? I have the mute button triggered to the mute button. <laughs> I see. Well, I'll tell you, you know what? I got. I actually was. A, I was actually able to land myself a pretty cool sponsor. How many people are watching? <laughs> I want. I actually want everybody to see this because it's kind of a joke as well. Oh, that was that. exactly what I was asking you about. I want to hear about this sponsor. You want to hear about this sponsor? All right. And now a word from our sponsor. Hey, yo. How many of yous out there remember the Vita made a, made a vegan ju- This stuff! Vitamina Vegemin! Vitamina Vegemin! Vitamina Vegemin! Vitamina Vegemin! Vitamina Vegemin! Vitamina Vegemin! Remember how great that product was? Wish you could go back to the good old days of snake oil sales? Well, wait no longer. Hey, yo, <laughs> I'm Vincenzo Marinera, official spokesperson for Richards. Eat a bag of products for your health and well-being. Hey, oh, at Richards Eat a Bagel, we provide you all the best and healthiest products for you and your family, and all in convenient bags, complete with hand-sized handles. But not if you're Shaq or somebody like that. Hey, yo, that's right. Great big bags of wholesome and healthy hot dogs, eggplants, zucchinis, corns on the cob, sausages, taquitos, popsicles, and even bananas and moon Just a note grapes. for everyone hey, if you're yo, there. Uh... At Richard's Eat a Bagger. Our foods come from the freshest FDA-approved GMO factories around the world for maximum varieties for you. Straight to your table and then your septic system. That is, if you can make it there after our scientifically approved additives, yeah, fillers and that. hormones liquefy your organs. Hey, oh, I'm going to show you all the Thank folks you. that devour and adore our yummy, yummy um, products. And what they Peace have to all. say about uh, Richard's I didn't Eat a figure out If I put another window in front of my browser window after I've <laughs> muted it, I can go over to my Discord and then use the microphone trigger button. True international depression. I want to be clear. I'm not going nuts. It's just a learning curve. What the hell? Is, what is this? Hey, yo, so get on out there to your local grocery store or Amazon Fresh for your very own great big bag of Richard's Eater Bag of food products today. Tell them Vincenzo sent you. Hey, yo, Richard's Eater Bag of just like my birthday person used to make. Oh, hey! 
Richard Diedebag, a patent pending. No Italians or principles were harmed during the filming of this advertisement. Where were prohibited may not be available anywhere. <laughs> What'd you think of that? And what'd you think of that? <laughs> Although you talked over it. You there? All right. That was our sponsor. Keep trying to call me. Somebody called me and I didn't get to it in time. Keep trying. <laughs> uh, let's see. What else have I been hearing about lately that's been... Mm, going on. Uh, the link to my Discord, if you want to talk to me in Discord, is um, pinned to the top of the chat. I was gonna say, even with as many, even with as little as chat as I'm getting, I'm, <laughs> I feel like I'm crazy behind on the stream. Wage just called in on my shit. <laughs> yeah, there's about a thirty second delay, and sometimes more, depending on. What's going on here? Anyway, this is my friend Wage War on the line. Um, dude, can you hear me? He's probably still watching the commercial. All right, something's not working here. Well, let's see. I heard you before, Wage. All right, anyway, keep on calling in. Let me know what you think. Let's see. Uh, <laughs> let's see, did I have anything else? Uh, nope. Not there. Let's see. Oh, this is kind of scary. Oops. <laughs> there went my Discord. <laughs> anyway, from the Gateway Pundit, 80 House Republicans vote to fund federal vaccine database to spy on Americans. Aren't we already being spied on by the whatever happened after 9-11? The... the and then, of course, they've got the passports and things like that on the phone now and everything like that. They need more? All right. A call. Let's see if it works. 630. 630, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Hello. Hi, how are, uh, how are you? How's I'm it? doing fine. This voice sounds very familiar. Um, well, I don't know how. I've only called ABL like a couple times. Uh, this is Hidden Angel. I just found the real party in <laughs> Odyssey. Um, I was watching you on YouTube, and now I see that uh, everybody is on Odyssey. So, and, and you know what? You're the reason I joined Odyssey, but it took me so long to like for it to go through the motions that I don't even remember why I joined. Like, like. I know it was a video that you put out that convinced me to go there, but I don't remember like what it was. So oh, okay. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I started talking about Odyssey probably real early because when I first started doing this, I wasn't gonna depend on just YouTube. In fact, this is one of the reasons why I started doing this myself is because of all of the censorship on the mainstream stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, and uh, I, that that it, might be why I recognize your voice from uh, ABL. I actually haven't had a chance to listen to him a whole lot lately. I catch his videos every once in a while while I'm working on something else. But as you can see, I've been busy. <laughs> yes, yeah. Oh, how awesome! This is great. Uh, it's, it's a lot of fun hanging out. I can't wait to tune in. Well, I I can't stay for long tonight because I got to go back to work, but. Um, I, I can't wait to hang out. This is, this is awesome. Oh, great. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm glad my idea is working. I was nervous about that too. 
Well, it's it's different, I think, uh, when you're able to interact. I mean, okay, so when we started watching ABL, me and my husband, we were, we were watching just his straight-up videos and, like, kind of not doing the live thing. We got the live thing going. Uh, we, we stopped watching the pre-recorded videos. Oh yeah, the live thing seems to be where it's at right now. I had to I had to take the plunge myself. Like I say, I'm sitting here with my fingers crossed because I don't have the absolute best and highest speeds of everything. So, and every once in a while, my video card will give out on me. So, <laughs> trying real hard not to mess anything up. I just got rid of Discord though. Let's see, we were talking about that scary okay. thing. That's all right. Like I say, I'm all by I'm doing this all by myself, and I have to take care of all of the stuff. Did you get a chance to see my commercial? Uh, it's running right now. I oh, think. okay. <laughs> I, I I got it on mute because well, it's going through my headphones. I, ah. Um. So, are you? Is that you? Yes. Eat a eat a baga. Yep. <laughs> Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm actually seeing it right now on YouTube. That's how much of a delay is nice. going through. Yeah, I hope everybody gets the joke. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'll uh, I'll watch it. I'll watch it again later. How funny though! Oh my gosh, you're something else. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> yeah, this stuff just comes to my head. I wake up with this stuff in my head sometimes. It's weird. It's really weird. I weird myself out sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, I actually started, to, I, I actually been always talking about the alternatives because when I started this, I knew YouTube wasn't going to be the best. And I was, I'm always looking for alternatives because I'm, I'm of the, uh, what was it? Uh, the MySpace age. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I guess I kind of am too, even though I never did. I thought you had to pay for it. So I didn't do it all, you know. Oh no. Like but when it went by the wayside, yeah, ne ne never, uh, never put all your, that's, if this one thing you learn on the internet is never put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Yeah. I just got the joke. <laughs> I, it, it, everything looked like, like, like phalluses. There you go. That's what it is. That's it. That's oh the my joke. God. Okay. Well, now I just humiliated myself in front of your entire audience. <laughs> <laughs> That's the joke, though. <laughs> I was hoping I was I was gonna call it Dixie to Baga, but I thought that was too obvious. So. <laughs> uh, did you see Tim Pool's video uh, explaining his COVID um, problem, like his his experience with COVID? Yeah, I saw a few of them. In fact, I saw the one where he was actually sick. He he that's the worst I've ever oh. seen him look. But he talked to Did his Did you feel like you're Go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead, go ahead. Did you feel did you feel like your experience with COVID was like was as bad as his was or did you feel like that you know it was not right? Actually, <laughs> I don't know. actually in my household my my experience with it wasn't real bad at all. I didn't get any of the lung stuff. Um, I got all of the stomach stuff. And but my husband oh, actually my God. husband actually got all the lung stuff, and he was in the hospital for eighteen days with it. Yeah. So I, yeah, it, it, well, we, we both you know, we both had different experiences. Mine was mine wasn't that bad, and his was horrible. Gotcha. Well, I mean, I'm just so glad you guys came through it. I, it, I'm still a little scared, but like, I'm trying to not be because I don't, I, I'm not going to worship a virus. <laughs> there so. you go. You got to live your life. I was going to say this, they're, they're focusing. The thing about this is they're focusing on this one thing and there has been germs and viruses and things that have killed people for the entirety of humanity. And there's no, you don't have any control over that stuff. Right. I, I just want to like go back to living. I, I feel like we, we're going to be so cheated for like, for God knows how long. Well, they keep saying the, re, the, the only way to handle up on that is to stop complying with it. You're, yeah. 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 I, and I saw an article today that said that women 
and people between the age of 30 and 50 have the worst um, reactions to the vaccine. And, you know, I've held out this long, but I'm looking around me and like, I, well, I'm like right in that age group. And there's, you know, I only have, you know, a couple of friends maybe in that age group. And like my family, some of them are vaxxed and some are not, but it just got real, you know? Yeah. They're, my family, my sisters are older than 50 and my nieces are younger than 50 and I'm like right in there. And I'm like, well, if I went out and got it, who would, who would be my, my sick buddy? It's just me. So yeah, my husband and I were, well, we're, we're not going to get it. I'm going to wait till I turn 50, which is going to be in about another five years. And I don't know what he's going to do, but we're, you know, we're just going to not be scared. Well, I, 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 uh, you know, being, being scared is, it's, a uh, it's okay. It's just your reaction to it is what matters. Cause, uh, yeah. you know, if yeah. you weren't, if you weren't alarmed about certain things, you wouldn't do certain reactions and things like that. So, but yeah, this, this particular thing, well, I'm of, I'm of the firm belief. I'm, I'm a, I'm a goer of, of the, let's see, uh, a door. I'm, I'm a George Carlin, uh, fan. And he basically essentially yeah. said, yeah. if the government tells you one thing, you can guarantee it's going to be the opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, so far I'm seeing that is true with the government and schools right now and the media. So, and like I say, I gave up on the media back in 2006. I'm a, I'm literally what you call a normie or was until I started listening to more news and everything. So, and it wasn't by choice, so, <laughs> but I figured if I had to be stuck with this, let's go, let's do this. So I appreciate you calling. Awesome. I'm I'm ex I'm excited. People yes, are actually calling. I thought I wasn't going to get any audience at all tonight because you know how slow beginners start out. <laughs> I understand. Well, you're you're killing it. You are absolutely killing it. And thank you so much for taking my call. And it's great to talk to you. Uh, and I'll see. Uh, I got to go back to work, but I'll see you next week. Okay, great. Yeah, Thursday night, seven central, five o'clock, avocado time. <laughs> Appreciate you calling. <laughs> You stay safe out there. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. Same. Same to you. Good night. Bye now. All right. Shout out to the caller. Thank you so much. Appreciate you all being here. Of course, um, I do have links below if you want to support me, even if it's just sharing the video or sharing the live stream. I'm going to try and stay normal on Saturdays, but this is a, the live stuff is a lot of work, but it's also a lot more fun too. <laughs> Although I am going to take the best phone calls and the best comments and things like that throughout, uh, you know, because I'll look back on all of this stuff. Uh, but I'll take I'll take the best comments and everything, and I'll make videos of you guys and everything like that. The whole point, like I say, I'm not necessarily want to argue with you or anything like that. I will if you insist, but I'm usually not like that. My main thing is to try and get everybody's voice out there. It takes more than one voice. I'm one person, but I know that I can do this, so that other people. If, and if they don't have the time or they can't do this, they can call in and their voice will be out there. That's what I want. Everybody's voice needs to go out there. Let me see. Somebody just joined my, uh, I want to call it a chord, <laughs> record, discord. Let's see, 451 actual. Let me see. Can you hear me, 451? Yeah, I can hear you. Sorry, I had to figure out which uh, which button I needed to push to go to push to talk. I couldn't remember. Oh, <laughs> all right, yeah. I'm tr I'm having trouble keeping track of all this stuff too. I I practiced and practiced, and I'm still going um um um. Yes, but I want to make sure right. that I don't click anything off. So, what do you got to say? Screen. Tell the world wants yeah, to hear yeah. what you have to say. Yeah, uh, I appreciate it. Uh, I think this is uh, awesome. The whole calling thing, I think, is great. Um, so you're doing a great job. Uh, like I said, I, I'm a brand new streamer too. I just started also. So, uh, I understand the, uh, the difficulties in getting things running smoothly. Um, I just wanted to, do, uh, say about these, uh, these ladies, uh, putting, um, buck teeth on their, uh, 
with the push on nails. <laughs> Makes you wonder what part that's of the body it. they're gonna put them on next. Well, that's and that's kind of where I'm going with my point is, uh, <laughs> you know, we need to start uh, making these people feel as foolish as they look, um, because the, the real problem with uh, things, especially like TikTok, and I kind of think it's by design, you know, because the CCP uh, owns TikTok. Um, I think it's a big old propaganda tool. And, uh, you know, these these kids get into these trends to look foolish. Um, and uh, I think that the world kind of mocks us. So, you know, I, we need to kind of make these people understand that uh, what they're doing is foolish because you see the goalpost keep, keeps getting moved further and further and further. And the things just keep getting crazier and crazier and crazier. I mean, you know, we were watching kids eating Tide Pods not too long ago. You know what I mean? So we know <laughs> what these crazy trends are freaking capable of. So, you know, especially as a parent, um, you know, it, it just takes due diligence. And uh, I think a lot of that is lost because of social media and all of that. It's kind of created a wedge between parents and kids. Um, and I think in order to restore things back to normal uh, where we can get a society that's productive and not worried about sticking glue on nails on your teeth um, it's going to take parents getting reinvolved uh, reinvolved in school reinvolved in your kids lives figure out what they're getting into what they're looking at and uh, make positive change you're at the end of the day parents are the the frontline teachers first and last first in first out when it comes to teaching our kids uh, moral things and it just spins out of control when we let things like this continue on so that's all I wanted to say uh, thanks for letting me call in and uh, appreciate it awesome thank you so much for calling well I, you're right about the parenting thing they, 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 they made it to where you're not allowed to discipline your children anymore and now they're teaching kids that they don't have to obey anybody else anymore or, or do, you know they, they're teaching kids that that they know everything, and that's not true. Kids crave uh, uh, guidance. That's the reason why they'll, you know, uh, test you until you want to just backhand them. <laughs> but you got to teach them that that's wrong too. You got to, you know, use your words. Use, you know, every once in a while. That you know, of course, the Bible says, "Spare the rod, spoil the child." But uh, I don't think it meant them to beat them into oblivion. In fact, my husband's. He said that uh, every once in a while you have to just smack them on the behind to get their attention. Hey, I mean business. They don't have to be bawling or sm crying or screaming or any of that kind of stuff, but you do have to let them know, hey, you got to know this stuff. Learn it. Learn it well. All right. Wage. Do you hear me? Big shout out to my caller so far. The lines are open. <laughs> Call me and tell me what, tell me, tell them like it is. <laughs> Let's see. I'm trying to remember something else somebody told me today. There's an awful lot of stuff that's always going on. Somebody said they like my commercial. Thank you. <laughs> this, that was my, that's pretty much my response to all the politicians on the planet right now. <laughs> Hidden Angel, thank you so much for joining us. 451 Actual, appreciate you calling in. Please share with your friends. Tell them we're here every Thursday. Um, in fact, if you want to call and talk about Salty. In fact, that's actually one thing that I was going to do a video about. But everything just goes by so fast sometimes. And I wanted to get this live show out. But he mentioned one day about, um, you know, some of the... Uh, ways that we can like raise money and raise awareness and get a lot of us salty bastards together uh with regard to some kind of a concert let's have a concert let's get together and do like a republican palooza or, or i mean that's just a way to put it out there but you know i'd be willing to do it i'm a singer you know it doesn't have to be a bunch of famous people uh or anything like that i'd be willing to work on it but i thought that was a brilliant idea course we probably won't see salty <laughs> i think didn't he say he was kind of an introvert he doesn't go out and stuff like that 
Actually, do any of us these days? I've pretty much been relegated to the house. <laughs> but what can I tell you? But yeah, I thought that was an incredibly uh, great idea. And I don't know if anybody remembers that. He mentioned it a couple of months ago. Yeah, I think that's a fantastic idea. I would be willing to travel and, and uh, help work on something like that. I don't know about organizing it. I'm not the best organizer when it comes to dealing with making people do stuff. But I would definitely do a job or, or help somehow or another, depending on how far away from home it is. If I have to travel to California, I think I would say no thank you. <laughs> But if we did it someplace in the heartland or in middle, you know, because I, I live in Texas, straight up shot, maybe in the, ooh, maybe in the Colorado mountains. That'd be awesome. So, yeah, contact me if anybody does that, that, uh, that kind of uh, show that, that Salty was talking about. Maybe email him and ask him for more ideas about it because he, he seemed to have a real good uh, grasp on how to even do it. And it was something you know that we could just have our own fun and maybe the the uh rioters wouldn't bother us at these places <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not going to call them uh protesters because they're not all right phone lines are open let me see i'll i'll shout out the number it's 409-877-1243 or you can skype me uh, let's see, uh, ldghwih at gmail.com. I'm also on Discord. The, the link is tech to the top of the Odyssey. All right. Hey, Wage, are you there? I see you, but I don't hear you. It's going to take him a minute. <laughs> I know that there's a delay on this thing. So far, great callers. I'm really glad people are calling me in. Calling in. I was actually nervous that nobody would call. <laughs> I'd feel like a girl and prom night that never got asked out. Not really. I would just keep trying until people paid attention to me. Darn it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, here's another thing that I wanted to mention. Good old LeBron James. They say that there's no such thing as karma. <laughs> now I'm not saying I want him to be sick or anything like that, but it's 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 awful strange how he can point his fingers and tell everybody else how bad they are for not getting the vaccination or doing other things like that and everything like that. But all of a sudden he's got it. How did that happen? Not to mention the fact that anybody actually get why he kicked those fans out to be honest with you if they were talking about where that guy was making gestures he looked like he was praising him he was doing this so if lebron i mean he thinks he's a king anyway i can't imagine that not being appropriate yeah he sound he looked like he was praising him and um the thing was, he pointed at the girl afterwards. That that didn't make any sense to me at all. But again, right afterwards, karma smacked him upside the head. Didn't he get a fine for a rude jester himself in the same game? Mm. Ugh, these celebrities that think that their arses don't stank. <laughs> all right. Wage, I can see you, but can you hear me at all? Or can you talk to me? <laughs> I got you on Discord. Actually, I meant to put some stuff on, on uh, YouTube, too. But I don't see a whole lot of people on YouTube tonight. I actually did... I'm actually doing YouTube on a separate computer. Just in case they decided to shut everything down. I didn't want to go through them... A, 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 you know, I didn't want to go through them... Uh, uh, as, as the main uh, show... So, um, because I, I actually like Odyssey better. And like I say, I think YouTube, even though I've got 300 uh, subscribers, I've had 300 subscribers for the last, going on four months now. Like, no more subscribers, no nothing. 
even even and uh, I've even lost a couple lately. So um, I think that YouTube doesn't like me very much. Of course, how could they? I've come out against the transgenders in the women's sports. Actually, that's one of my points too. Is that uh, only us women are going to be able to stop this injustice? And like I said, and I'll, I I will always think this. There's nothing more patriarchal than a guy putting on a dress telling everybody that he's one of us and then getting more rights for it. I'm sorry, we fought way too hard. And then of course it makes me real nervous when they're teaching to get rid of women's suffrage in schools. The girls, the girls that are talking that, oh, this is great, this is great. They don't even know what it is. But if you take away women's suffrage, you're going to take away our right to vote, our right to own property, our right to our own bodies. In fact, if you take away women's suffrage, we're going to be like that show that they've been showing everybody. What is it, The Maids or something like that? I don't watch a whole lot of television or a whole lot of, of uh, mainstream anything, so. I still don't see, I can see you, Wage, but I never hear you. I'm not hearing you talk to me. <laughs> Oh, are those, oh, cool. Are those super chats? Thank you, Wage. Thank you for the super chats. Uh, get it, girl. Get it, girl. Get it, girl. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much getting it. <laughs> uh, I hope you liked my commercial. That's, I'm, I think I'm going to post that somewhere so you can watch it or you can play it. <laughs> Wade, you can play it on your station. Actually, anybody that's listening, if you want to stream me or stream my show, you have permission. I'm not copywriting anything. I'm not famous enough to do that anyway. And yes, I made the t-shirt. This is me. <laughs> I'm a famous nobody. Won't you be a famous nobody with me? Actually, that's that's my way of telling you that I'm I don't take myself that seriously. You know, if I'm wrong about something, tell me if you, uh, if I, uh, you know, I try not to disparage people per se, unless they just plain, well, like I say, LeBron James, he's somebody that is a public figure. He's put himself out there. You open yourself up to criticisms. I've opened myself up to criticisms. That's, that's just the way the world works. But if I cared what anybody else thought, I wouldn't be here right now. All right. Anybody else want to call in? I don't, I can't. How do I tell who's here? Ah, eight fires. I can't. This doesn't tell me who's here. I'm wondering what Wage is doing here. He's got his back turned to the camera. <laughs> talking to his dog all right well you guys let's see wow time flies when you're having a good time it's almost 8 30 not that it's late for me i'm i'm a musician we used to we used to start we didn't even used to start playing music until 10 and 10 at night and then uh we'd get home at four in the morning eh sleep till about eight and then get up and do it all over again. So yeah, this isn't late for me, but I do know that a lot of people have to work tonight and it is probably 9.30 Eastern time. Like I say, I, I, wanted, I wanted to do Thursdays because it's in between Salty's Wednesdays and Fridays because I know nobody would go to come to my channel if Salty was on. But you know, you can call me and talk to me about Salty if you want to talk to me about Salty. Actually, call me and tell me anything you want. That's the whole point of the freedom of speech. Even if it's awful, I may not like it. Uh, YouTube may not like it either. <laughs> depends on, uh, depends on, I guess sometimes it depends on who it is. So, but yeah, I'm not a big fan of YouTube anymore since the, since they started taking a, a lot of people off too. I think that's wrong. <laughs> Thank you, band. I appreciate you being here. I really do. I appreciate everybody everybody being here. 
everybody has the right to say what they have that what they want to say and uh, Steven Crowder the other day said well you know that means that other people get to talk and say bad things too and that's the breaks it's not just the breaks it works the other way around as well anybody can say whatever they want to say but the other individuals that are not saying things actually have the right to either retort rebut or ignore ignore this person that's actually like i say freedom of speech if nothing else is going to help you weed out the people that you don't want to be by and that's the way it's supposed this to work is so far beyond it's pathetic what's that wage i heard you <laughs> The lag on this is so far behind, it's pathetic. Uh, well, I can't help that. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I even got my headsets on. Yeah, hey, do you think this will be better if, uh, um, if I tried to put the... Because I'm actually going through two computers, which probably is, is uh, causing some of the jam. Plus, like I say, I'm out in the I'm out in the boondocks. I don't have a I don't have a, my uh my speed is not uh a higher speed is not really available here where I'm at. Do you think it would be easier to just do all of this on one computer? Like if I do uh I've got I've got Odyssey on OBS. If I do restream and put the um. The YouTube on that one, will they work together like that or do I have to use that OBS for that too? Boy, that lag is pretty bad. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what, everything's starting to lag real bad. And like I said before, I don't have a uh, giant bandwidth on this thing. And I'm going to have to try something else for next week. Even if it's just to do a uh, video on one, on one platform to start with, or a uh, video on one platform and uh, the discord. But we've been on for an hour and a half and so far everybody's enjoyed it. I appreciate it. I'm running out of things to say, and I'm not getting any more phone calls, and Wade is way behind. I asked the question. He's way behind here. So I'll tell you what, everybody. Thank you guys for everybody being here. Appreciate all the phone calls for the first night out. We are going to make improvements as we go along. I will definitely see you next Thursday with more goodies, heroes, and BS. <laughs> Hopefully they don't kill anybody this week. You know how that goes. And of course, you can join my famous nobodies. Please make sure you share this and let everybody know that I'll be broadcasting live on Thursdays to start with. If this goes well, I might do more than one day a week. I might do more than an hour and a half at a time, etc. and etc. and etc. Let's see how it goes. Let's grow together. Thank you for coming and calling in. Appreciate all of you guys. Stay safe out there. And until next time.